Hello, my name is Amy Goodman, and I'm the co-director of the Autism Now Center. This is the 13th video in our Autism Now Answer series. The question for this week is, my son is 24 years old, on Medicaid, and nonverbal. What is the best way for him to learn to communicate? In order to help find the most appropriate person to help an adult individual with autism to communicate, I'm going to suggest four types of therapies that are related to autism and ASD. If used in some combination, these therapies can help an individual not only to communicate in some manner, but to live an independent and fulfilling life as well. Speech language pathology specializes in communication disorders as well as swallowing disorders. Speech language pathologists provide a wide range of services, mainly on an individual basis, but also as a support to individuals, families, and support groups. Some of the techniques are, that they might use or suggest would be assistive technology devices, sign language, and many other things that you can try to do to learn to communicate. Occupational therapy is the use of treatments to develop, recover, or maintain daily living and work skills in an individual with a physical, mental, or developmental disability. Occupational therapy focuses on adapting the environment, modifying the task, teaching the skill, and educating the client and family in order to increase participation in and performance of daily activities. Sensory integration deals with the brain and how it interprets all the different sensations coming into the body. Sight, sound, touch, smell, and movement. An occupational therapist can be consulted to do this type of therapy. They must have some experience and knowledge in this area in order to qualify to work with an individual. Physical therapy is a health profession primarily concerned with the remediation of impairments and disabilities and it is mostly used for mobility and movement. They can also work on functional ability and the quality of life activities. These are just the basics of what the therapy is and who practices each type of therapy. So if you need more information, go to www.en.wikipedia.org and type in the different types of therapies for, detail, for more detailed information. PTs, OTs, and speech language pathologists can be found in schools, hospitals, and private practices. Talk with your doctor for recommendations on a good interventionist who might be able to help you. For more information on autism, I suggest you find a local chapter of the ARC or a local chapter of the Autism Society near you. They can help with finding the appropriate person to help you with your child and your situation. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it helps you with your journey into autism. And just remember, the more you know, the more empowered you will be. Thank you.